Welcome back, guys. Today we are going to do our technology tip of the week, number four, and we'll be talking about Seesaw. Seesaw is a great program for teachers who want to have a paperless classroom and who may not have many uh, available uh, devices in their classroom. This is uh, great for a teacher who just has one. I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and I'll get started. Okay, guys, first thing we're doing, we're going to go to Google, and we're just going to search for Seesaw. Right there it is. The website is web.seesaw.me backslash. All right, guys, it's very easy to sign up. It is uh, free to sign up. I've already went ahead and signed up and made an account. If you need help uh, setting up an account, you can see me later or send me an email. So I'm going to sign in. And I'm going to select I am a teacher. Later on, we'll show this from the student side, and this is they'll log in the same exact way. Right, so I am a teacher. I've signed up through my Google account, so I'm going to sign in through Google. Right, and this is uh, what the class template looks like. I've already had went ahead and added a few students. Uh, up here is my profile. This right here uh, changes between news feed and a calendar view. Go back to our news. Uh, Feed view. All right, guys. Here's how we add students. That's, I guess that's the most important thing is to add students. I'm going out here to manage students and just type the student's name in. We're going to pick on Mr. Kaiser and add him to my class. Right, so we're going to add Scott Kaiser to our class. All right. Each of these kids, guys, they the best thing about Seesaw is they do not have to have a login. They do not have to. Uh, type anything in, uh, they're going to be provided a QR code and they're going to scan it and that's how they're going to log in. We'll talk about that here in a second, but let's just look at some of these options that you have control of. Uh, so let's just do Jane Doe here. There's her name. You can also give her a different icon, maybe for your lower grades. You know, if you want to give each kid a login, you know, each kid has a certain animal. So let's make Jane a dolphin. And also, you can invite Jane's parents to have access to her seesaw. What seesaw does, guys, when you when the students upload their work, it creates a working journal. Every time they add something, it's stored and saved, and they can flip back and forth and see their work throughout the year. And their parents can also. You go down here, click on parents, and invite parents. All right. What's going to do, guys? It's going to uh, actually. Uh, you have to have the parents' email. Let's go back to Seesaw real quick, and that's how uh, the parents are invited. Let's go back here and let's look at uh, Jane Doe for a moment. Like the man students. Right. There is a worksheet that you can send home uh, to your for your parents. Also, I'll get that out to you guys later. But the best thing is the parents will not have access to other kids' information. So that's great. Now, a downside to this is all the kids will be able to see everybody else's work. So this might not be the idea thing if you're going to use it for homework and return a graded, you know, graded form on there. You might not want to do it at confidentiality reasons. All right, so add the kids is very simple. Uh, you can also upload stuff... Uh, uh, to these guys, for these guys, you know, you can put stuff into their journals by just clicking the plus. You can add a photo, you can add a drawing, you can upload a file, you can just do a note, or you can do a web link for everybody. Right, let's go back here. This just uh, changes between the different views. Uh, here's where you get the class code for your students. Here's where you find the QR code. Uh, I have a teacher at Appalachia Elementary, Miss Ingalls. I showed her in a earlier videos using clickers. She uses Seesaw for kids to turn in homework and class assignments. You know, she's trying to create a paperless classroom. Uh, she has this QR code. That's how each kid signs in. She has a computer set up that's already on the Seesaw site. The kids go there. They click on the student. They scan the code. They select their name, and 
they upload their work however you know she wants them to do it that day you can print out this uh, class poster right here and it gives uh, instructions on how to uh, for the students to log in to Seesaw here's what the poster looks like you know there is an off there's an app there's an Android and an iPhone app uh, or they can go to this website right here one I gave you earlier select I am a student and they'll scan that code you know, Miss Ingalls has this hanging up in the room that's all the kids have to do they come in they click I am a student they scan that code and they get in all right you can also do a text uh, class code but it only lasts for 15 minutes at a time that's probably not the ideal thing if you're going to turn in you know work all right, guys, I'm going to log out, and I'm going to go in through the student side and show you what that looks like. Sign out. All right, so now I'm going to sign in as a student. I haven't printed off the sheet yet, but I have the QR code on my phone, so we'll log in this way. There we go. So I've logged in. Uh, what, I'm, what I would do if... As a kid, I would select my name. I'm going to be Mr. Kaiser right now. I'm going to go up here and hit plus. And I'm going to add a file. All right. You can do JPEGs, PDFs. All right. Also, if they say the kids don't have access to a computer and they don't have those files, uh, you can also take a picture of your work. So let's do that. So say this is my worksheet I did for homework. Hold it up. Have my pretty face in there. Take a picture. All right. Hit the green plus, and I am done. Uh, they can also, guys, they can uh, add a drawing to uh, their submission. They can add a caption, or they can do a voiceover to it. They can explain their work in an audio file that will uh, appear with this. So I'm just going to add a drawing. All right. Hit the green plus. It's edited. We could add a caption. You know, you can do today's date. September something. Something. I don't know the date. That's pretty bad, isn't it? All right. You could also do audio. I haven't done it yet. You click this to begin recording. No audio stream. I give access to my microphone. Click the button, begin recording. Just seeing if this works, and we'll see when we go to the student side. I stopped it. Wait for it to process. All right. I guess you can preview it, guys, if you wanted to, but I'm not because I hate the sound of my voice on camera, like most of us do. Hit the green plus. And it's uh, been uploaded. It's waiting for the teacher's approval, and we'll go back to the teacher side here in a second and show you that. All right. Hit the green plus. To, oh, guys, sorry. We got to select what kid it goes, who it's going for. This is for Mr. Kaiser. This submission for Mr. Kaiser. I'm sorry, guys. Click the green plus. And it's uploaded. It's in Mr. Kaiser under his name. There it is. Okay. So let's go back uh, to the teacher side and see what it looks like. Um, sign in as teacher. Sign in through my Google account. Uh, if you notice up here in the in my profile, I have this red one. It shows me that work has been submitted. So it's an unapproved item. I'm going to click on it. You know, I can see it there. I can play the audio file. I see where he's written on it. I'm going to approve it. Right, so now when I click on Mr. Kaiser's name, let's see here. Sorry, from my view, it won't be that. When the kids, uh, let's go to, I'm sorry, let's go to the news feed. Just go back to the news feed. Sorry. 
click on Mr. Kaiser's name. Here's all his submitted work. He's only submitted one thing. So each, uh, every time he submits something new, it'll show up here in this stream. One on top of the other. All right, guys, that's pretty simple. Uh, let me unshare my screen real quick. All right. Stop that. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please shoot me an email or give me a shout when I come by your rooms. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.